What's up everyone, welcome to Clubit, my name is KB and today I will show you the best free video editor for you and the name is the Caden Live. You may have heard about this already or maybe not so if you haven't so yeah watch this till end because I will also show you how to set up. It is not that that hard to set up but yeah it is not that easy if you are a noob or you don't know how to set up this then you need to watch this till end. So I'm gonna close this and I will show you the process to download and install this so I will put link in the description for this to download okay when you click on link on the description you will be here or here okay so this is the official website of the Caden live so yeah this is the official website you can read here what's happening with this video editor and you will be able to know which is new so after that you when you reach here click on download and it will take you here and you can select the for which platform you want to download for example as you can see here they are linux and debian etc things these are the gnu and linux packages okay if you are a windows user like me i'm using the windows so you have to follow this tutorial okay you can fo follow this or just this watch this video it will be easy so the first thing we have to get this kden live from here we're just gonna click on that and it will open up the new window after that as you can see here these are the links to download and uh, yeah click on any of these links and as you can see it has worked and my internet download manager ha has picked this and start download and i'm gonna cancel that because i have already downloaded this okay so after that close that and go down and follow another instruction you have to download the ffm pack shared 64 bit build from there you just click on that and it will automatically start to download this one i have already downloaded this as you can see it is completed already so i'm gonna cancel that again and after you have downloaded all of the files these two files head over to the download folders wherever you have saved them okay so i have saved here as you can see one is uh, let me show you the size as you can see this is Kden live and this is the codec we need to okay first extract this Kden live here okay you can also use the winrar or any extractor okay it is a zip file so if you don't have a winrar it will still you can still extract that okay so wait until it extract okay after extract has been finished as you can see there will be the new folder called the Kden live okay so Kden live windows as you can see this one so you don't need Kden live zip file anymore or you can save it for later if you want to and you can move this folder any way that you want in your uh, you know a desktop or wherever you want to save it okay so it's not an installer so it will not be installed in your program files it will run straight okay and uh, after that what we need to do is here is the instruction after that ff mpeg codec we have to move to this folder let me show you first extract that again the second one okay it will take just a minute and as you can see this one go open this and bin you have to look it for bin so open that and you will see these all of these files Control A to select all, okay, and uh, copy them and go back, go back and go to the Kden Live, okay, Kden Live, Kden Live Windows, and just paste here, Control V, paste all of these files here from there, okay, so it is that easy. If you don't do this step, then the Kden Live will open, but you won't be able to import the or export the videos from that okay so you need to do, do this step okay after that you are almost done okay after that you are done that's how you install it okay so it was uh, easy as hell i guess okay and after that just find this file kden live as you can see here kden live exe it's around nine kilobyte or nine megabyte okay so as you can see this one kden live you have to find this one this is the biggest file i guess in exe format so you can just double click or run it as administrator or just open however you like to open it and you will see the magic so that's how it looks 
when you open it for the first time and you can also customize this by going into the setting i'm also new for this and in my opinion this is the best free video editor i have used the windows movie maker i have used the camtasia paid okay so i'm not entirely sure but i have used it a little bit and i have tested this and i can say it is nearly a good as the camtasia okay so you have a effects and let me show you a few examples let me import a video from here i'm gonna copy that here and uh, yeah and it has imported here when you click on the clip it will the source monitor will turn into a you know you can trim that you can select the in and out point and after that you know you just straight drag and drop into the timeline so you can do it with this source monitor okay and you can also drag and drop from the file project bin straight here or you can select the in and out point for example i'm gonna select the in and out point here okay so i'm gonna select here these are the in and out points just like that and drag and drop here so it it works just like the you know adobe after effects or the adobe premiere pro you know you have option to in and out the clip and after that drag into the timeline something like this and you can also play that as you can see it is playing awesome okay and after that you can right click and do most you know clip cut the clip from the selected playhead you know split that you can also split the audio something like this and you can also add the effects inside this as you can see these are the effects you can select color correction you have every single thing the basic things what you need to edit the videos okay and after that or you also have the audio effects and etc things you know there are so many effects so I cannot explain every single effects in one video so you also have the effects manager here as you can see this is the effects manager you can select them and i'm gonna do some uh, colorize or something like that as you can see it has you can also do some settings here it just this this is the you can adjust the color properties from here this will open when you drag and drop the or when you apply the effects to the clip okay so this is this is this is similar to like you know if you have used the, the adobe premiere pro it's just similar to that okay so interface is just similar and uh, you can adjust everything there and yeah you also have the transitions as you can see here and you can also watch the video tutorials on youtube about this uh, if you want to learn more about this you can learn from youtube google you know if you want to learn something you can always use the google and youtube so yeah hope you enjoyed it guys and uh, i will put a link in the description for this go there and get this and uh, yeah that's all i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.